more than half a century ago, I saw one act from Piano Pavilion. I was nine, that was in Shanghai. And I uh, went with my family. I didn't know what's going on on stage. I was young, and, uh, but it, I, I never forgot the music. Uh, it stayed in my mind. So from then on, so I became a, the piano pavilion fan. Queen Chi has been called uh, the mother of all operas in China. So, Peking Opera, Cantonese Opera, and other local regional operas have all taken part from Queen Chi. It's a combination of poetry, dance, singing, and music. Pen Pavilion. Uh, it represents uh, the pinnacle of the Quen Quenqi art. The Piano Pavilion uh, is a story of two young lovers who meet and fall in love. The 16-year-old 16, 16 maiden, she had a, a dream. In the dream, she uh, had a love affair with, with a handsome young scholar right in the piano pavilion. Very erotic and beautifully put. So beautiful, it's in poetry, and yet very bold at that time, very controversial. It's composed by the great dramatist Tang Xianzu in 1598. Uh, he was a rebel. And there was uh, many Chinese thinkers had a romantic uh, rebellion against the very stern Confucian tradition. It has been compared with Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare and, and Tang Xianzu, they died in the same year, 1616. So they were contemporaries. I think people were very impressed by the costumes. The costumes are beautiful. We have uh, designed 200 pieces. Every single piece that is an embroidery, handmade. Very important part. It's a sleeve, we call it, we call it water sleeve. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a, a long sleeve, it's an extension of the body. So the sleeve movement, very important, very elegant, very expressive. In the dream scene, we used uh, this uh, intertwining of the sleeves movement to express the depth of passion. In the year 2001, UNESCO proclaimed uh, Queen Opera as a masterpiece of oral and intangible heritage uh, of humanity. Uh, and among the 19 national treasures, uh, Quinchy ranked number one. But at the same time, the way that I saw it, Quinchy, Quinn Opera also has been in crisis. First, I think this old ma the masters, they are aging. They are over 60 now. Uh, because there's been a break due to the devastation of uh, the Great Cultural Revolution. During the Great Cultural Revolution, the Queen Opera has been banned for 10 years. And of course, beyond that, the China's uh, younger generation, especially the college, college students, they've been alienated, disconnected from our uh, uh, cultural tradition. So I picked younger, actors to attract the young, younger generation so they can identify with, with the actors and more convincing to them. So this is a totally Chinese and yet modern and they, uh, it's so universal, so beautiful, so touching. 